Have you been looking for a great personalized bridal shower gift? Today I'll be compiling a few personalized gifts I have made and put them into a cute little gift basket. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. And if you're interested in crafting and Cricut tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. The first item we will be using in our gift basket is this glass etched pie plate. If you're interested in learning how to make this, be sure to check out my other video and I'll leave that in the link down below. This pie plate has the names of our bride and groom as well as the year they were married. The second gift we'll be putting into our gift basket is this tea towel. Now it matches our pie plate and actually has the same design on it as our pie plate. And if you missed the video on how I made this, go check that out and that link will also be in the description below. Below. I've got a few more items to add so let's compile the gifts together and see what type of gift basket we can create. We are going to start off with our pie plate as the base for this gift and we're going to add our tea towel on top. I'm going to add some red tissue paper behind the towel so it stands up a little. I purchased this pie serving utensil and I'm just going to remove it from its packaging just so it sits in here a little nicer. I've also got some measuring spoons and a wooden spoon. Now if I want to, I could have personalized the handle of the wooden spoon as well. I also have this flower that has a nice picture of a pie on the front of it, so I thought it would go nicely with this gift. I'm going to do a little rearranging here until I have everything in a good position. Once we have everything starting to look all right, we can put it in a cellophane bag and then we are going to tie it up. So I've got this cellophane bag here and let's see if we can get it inside. I'm thinking I should have got the cookie cellophane bag rather than the gift basket one, but we'll make this work. I'm just going to do a little readjusting because some of the items have moved and we'll get it in a nice place and then I'll tie it up. I'm just going to add a little more tissue paper in it just to give it some more texture. I really want to make sure we can see our tea towel, so I don't want to cover that up. It's looking good, so I'm going to try to keep some of the air in it and tie it. I'm going to be using some of this plaid ribbon to tie our bag shut. I thought it went really well with kind of a country kitchen theme. We've got the red tissue paper and the red in our flower, so this is going to make it stand out really nice. So first I'm going to cut a smaller piece and then my second piece of ribbon is going to be twice the size. So with the first ribbon, I'm just going to tie it and then the second ribbon, I will try to make a bow. And I want these pieces just hanging nice and flat in front. This ribbon has wire in it, so it's easy to shape, which is really nice. Now for our second bow, we're just going to wrap this around, do one knot. And then I'm going to make a little bow. I didn't realize that our tea towel fell over, so I'm going to try to lift that up. I've got the spoon here, I can do that. There, let's place that spoon back down. And there is our shower gift. Now, I still need to make a personalized card with my Cricut, and I will add the personalized card to this gift. If you're interested in how I made any of the items, check out those videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.